Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a C program to sort n numbers in ascending order. Here let us begin with the preprocessor directives hash include in angular brace we will write standard input output dot h header file and the next preprocessor directive is hash include in angular brace we will write console input output dot h header file. Now let us write main function here we will write wide main curly open brace and now I'm going to declare a variables of type integer and here I'm going to write array of size 10 and comma n is the number of elements and then I'm going to enter i j so both of these two are subscripts and I'm, I'm going to take one more variable called temporary variable now I'm going to write clr scr function which is used to clear the screen now we will ask the user how many elements using printf function in a double quotation mark we are going to write how many elements so end the double quotation mark and put semicolon and now we are going to receive the response from the user through keyboard using scanf statement and here in a double quotation mark we will write percentage d format specifier which is associated with int type of data end the double quotation mark put comma and here we are going to take n ampersand of n and put semicolon now we will ask the user to enter the elements using printf function in a double quotation mark i'll write enter the elements so elements are entered one by one using iterative statement for here i'm going to write for i is equal to zero i is less than n and then i plus plus and now we are going to receive the response from the user through keyboard using scanf statement here in a double quotation mark we will write percentage d format specifier end the double quotation mark put comma and then ampersand of a of i and then put semicolon after receiving this so we need to print the sorted elements are so here i am going to write in a printf statement i am going to write sorted elements are backward slash n end the double quotation mark and put semicolon and here we are going to use iterative statement so for i is equal to 0 i is less than n and i plus plus next for loop i am going to use for j is equal to here i am going to write i plus 1 and put semicolon then j is less than n and j plus plus now let us go for checking the condition so here i'll use curly open brace and we are going to write if a of i is greater than a of j if it is true then the swapping has to take place that is interchange of element has to take place i'm going to use here temporary variable temp is equal to a of i and then a of i is equated with value a of j and then temp is equated to e of j and then put semicolon and curly closing brace for this if statement and the next curly closing brace for this for loop next we are going to write for i is equal to 0 i is less than n and i plus plus now we are going to print the sorted elements using printf statement so printf in a double quotation mark i'll write percentage d backward slash n end the double quotation mark put comma a of i and then put semicolon now we are going to write get ch function and then curly closing brace now let us uh, take an example here i'm going to write output so once we compile and run this program it will ask the user to uh, how many elements For example, I am going to enter 3. So here n value is 3 because here this variable will receive this value 3. Now we will go for next statement enter the elements. So it is going to ask the user to enter the elements and just because of this backward slash n cursor will come down to the next line and it is going to iterate through this scanf statement by receiving 3 elements. For example, I am going to enter uh, for example, I'll write 3, 1 and 2. Okay. Yes. So 
for the first time i value here you can see for the first time i value is 0 and here a of 0 so a of 0 is holding value 3 again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i is 1 1 is less than 3 condition is true so here a of 1 is equated with value 1 next again the control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 2 which is less than 3 so hence it is true again it is going to receive the next element so that is a of 2 is equal to 2 so again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 3 3 is less than 3 no condition fails once the condition fails control comes out of this looping structure and it is going to execute the next statement so it is going to print sorted elements are so here it is going to print sorted elements are and just because of this backward slash and cursor come down to the next line so here you can see we have used two for looping statements for i is equal to 0 i is less than n and i plus plus here j is equal to i plus 1 for the first time i value is 0 0 plus 1 means what it is pointing to uh, the block whose index number is 1 and j is less than n j plus plus and now we are going to check this condition so let us write the same in the form of array so how do you write so we have a uh, three consecutive blocks here i'll write three one and two so whose index number is zero one and two now let us check out i is equal to zero means what here i is pointing to zero and j is equal to i plus one for the first time i value is zero zero plus one is one so here it is j is pointing to block whose index number is 1 okay next we are going to check if a of i what is a of i a of i is 0 for the first time greater than a of j is what 1 so a of 0 consisting of what 3 e is greater than a of 1 consisting of 1 so e is 3 is greater than 1 yes condition is true once the condition is true then this interchange takes place so what will happen so we will write temp is equal to a of i that is 0 a of 0 consisting of what 3 so it is initialized to temp variable next a of i is 0 so a of j is 1 correct so this consisting of what 1 so 1 is equated to a of 0 next a of j is what 1 because here it is pointing 1 is equal to temp temp is holding what 3 so 3 is equated to a of 1 now this same array will represent something like this so here you can see this is 0 1 and 2 a of 0 consisting of 1 so a of 1 consisting of 3 and this 2 is as it is okay yes now again control transfers to inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 now j value is what 2 2 is less than 3 condition is true so here i value is 0 j value is 2 correct next if here we are going to check one more condition so that is a of 0 is greater than a of 2 so here i is pointing to 0 and j is pointing to 2 so a of 0 consisting of what 1 is greater than a of 2 consisting of what 2 1 is greater than 2 no condition fails once the condition fails again control transfers to this inner for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is what 3 sorry j value is what 3 3 is less than 3 less than 3 no condition fails once the condition fails then this if statement will not get executed so control transfers to outer for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 1 so what will happen now so here once again i'm going to draw this array uh, 1 3 2 so here 0 1 2 now i is pointing to what index number 1 correct if i is 1 then j is 1 plus 1 so that is 2 so j is pointing to 2 next we are going to check the condition if a of i a of i is what a of 1 correct here it is pointing to 1 is greater than a of j is what a of j is 2 
सो ए ऑफ वन कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ वॉट ए ऑफ वन कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ थ्री ए ऑफ टू कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ वॉट टू इज थ्री इज ग्रेटर देन टू यस कंडीशन इज ट्रू वंस द कंडीशन इज ट्रू देन दीज थ्री स्टेटमेंट विल गेट एक्सिक्यूटेड सो हियर आई टू राइट टेम्प इज इक्वल टू ए ऑफ आई आई इज वन ए ऑफ वन कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ वॉट थ्री करेक्ट यस नेक्स्ट ए ऑफ वन is equal to a of i is 1 and a of j is 2 so 2 consisting of what 2 next a of j is what a of j is 2 a of 2 and temp is holding what 3 so here equated 3 now the value stored in an array is whose index number is 0 1 2 here you can see a of 1 must consisting of value 2 a of 2 consisting of 3 and this one will be as it is okay yes next once again the control transfers to inner for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 3 3 is less than 3 no condition is false again control transfers to outer for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i will be pointing to 2 correct so i will be pointing to 2 So J will become two plus one three. So three is less than three. No condition fails. Once the condition fails, again control transfers to outer for loop by incrementing the value of I by one. Now I will become three. Three is less than three. No condition fails. Once the outer for loop condition fails, then the directly control comes out of this looping structure, and then it is going to enter into this loop. For I is equal to zero, I is less than n, I plus plus, and then it is going to print A of I. So A of I consisting of what now? One, two, three. So all the elements are written in an ascending order. Here you can see A of zero. So here you can see A of zero. Consisting of what one, and after that again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by one. One is less than three, hence it is going to print the next element two. Again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by one. Now it is two, so a of two consisting of what three. So it is going to print all the elements in an ascending order. So let us run this program. For that I will take you to my laptop screen. Here you can see I have already written this program in Turbo C++ compiler to save your time. Let us compile this program by pressing Alt F9. Here it is showing success. That means there is no syntax error. I'll press Enter. Let us run this program by pressing Control F9. Here it is asking how many elements. For example, I'm going to enter three, and then it is asking enter the elements. Now I'm going to enter three, one, two. And here you can see the sorted elements are one, two, three. So all the elements which are entered randomly are organized in an ascending order. I hope you understood this program. If so, please write down in the comment box as understood. Thank you.